today we're taking a look at the circuit from Kiwi Labs. What's up guys? The circuit is a new and super interesting paddle offering from Kiwi Labs which they have jokingly dubbed a Gin 2.9 paddle, separating themselves from the drama that comes along with Gin 3, but this does have some Gin 3 adjacent technology in it, and I think they might have found the right balance with it. Before we get into the play, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the specs. This is a unique hybrid shaped paddle. It's almost elongated, but it's a little bit shorter and a little bit narrower than a traditional elongated paddle which makes it very similar to a traditional hybrid paddle, but a little bit skinnier. We'll talk more about that shape in a moment. It's got a long five and a half inch handle that can easily be overwrapped close to six inches. It's got a very light average weight at 7.8 ounces. It's a 14 millimeter polypropylene core thermoformed with edge foam. And lastly, the Gen 2.9 Tech what Kiwi Labs is calling a rainbow shaped layer of super soft foam, which is just a U-shaped layer of foam injected into the polypropylene core. And lastly, the price. It's 150, and if you use discount code SCOOTER, you'll save 10%, bringing it down to 135, which is a really great price for some unique tech. All right, before we get into how the paddle plays, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Looky Overgrips and Pickleball Effect Tungsten Tape. Those are two products that I use on every single review and I can't recommend highly enough. You can use discount code SCOOTER on either of their website to save 10%. Also, if you guys don't mind subscribing to the channel and liking the video, it truly helps small channels like mine a ton. All right, on to how the paddle plays. So this paddle surprised me a lot. Historically, I haven't loved thin core 13, 14 millimeter paddles. And that paired along with this skinnier hybrid shape, I was pretty skeptical on this paddle. But as soon as I started playing with this paddle, I was immediately impressed. It's super fun to play with, and it has a really nice, unique feel. The combination of the thin 14 millimeter core with the foam injection works really nicely together. And it has a really nice feeling sweet spot, despite the skinnier shape and thinner core. That combo also gives this paddle a surprising amount of power. I found this paddle to be deceptively powerful, especially for how light this paddle feels. That shape paired with how light it is also makes this paddle extremely quick in the hands. It's super maneuverable, and I had absolutely no problem being in the right position in hands battles at the net. I would actually say that this paddle might be a little too quick and light. I ended up adding four inches of one gram per inch tungsten tape along the sides which did give this paddle a little extra plow through while increasing the stability of it. I also found this combo to give this paddle a really nice dwell time, especially for a 14 millimeter paddle. And that paired with the absolutely insane spin that this paddle gets allowed me to shape the ball really nicely. This paddle allowed me to hit really nice dropping drives and add extra power to my serve while still keeping it in the baseline. There is also a 16 millimeter version of this paddle that I have not gotten to test out yet. So all of this review is based purely on the 14 millimeter version. This is a paddle that really does everything well. It's got good power while still being very controllable. That foam injected core gives it a really nice dampened feel while increasing the sweet spot and dwell time. It also does a really nice job of toning down the harshness that thin core paddles can have. But in doing that, it also tones down the pop a little bit, which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on your preference. For me personally, it still has plenty enough pop, but it's toned down enough to mitigate pop ups and bad dings. So that all sounds great, but there is one potentially big problem, the shape. This skinny hybrid shape is certainly not the most forgiving shape that I've played with. And it definitely is a very narrow feeling paddle. And that smaller paddle face means more missed shots. It's definitely less forgiving than other hybrid shape paddles for missed hit shots. And that thinner size does mean that it's a little less stable than other shapes as well. So this paddle might not be right for you if you're a newer player or like a bigger sweet spot. And for those players, I would love to see Kiwi Labs implement this technology in some other more forgiving shapes. But while this shape isn't the most forgiving, I do think it still has its benefits. This shape allows them to keep the weight down, keeping this paddle extra maneuverable and quick in the hands. 
And paired with the foam core, it works. It takes a second to get dialed in, but once you get dialed in with it, it is a super fun paddle to play with. It's a great all around, all court paddle that does everything well and offers a super unique feeling. It's also one of the spinniest paddles I've ever played with. And for those reasons, I definitely think it's a paddle that's going to be staying in my bag. As always, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Stay tuned, I have more reviews coming soon.